It's been hard for me to face this topic because to be treated in such a way where you receive none of what you give, it makes you feel like you aren't worthy of love. And that has been so difficult to come to terms with um, in my life and my experience since. At the end of my first year, I was within a very big group of friends and I had a best friend who had a cousin. At first, he appeared as this cool guy who was extremely good looking and um, felt like someone who I could trust. Our relationship evol evolved over a few months. However, as time went on, there were a few more things that had happened that were extremely emotionally abusive. And I met him at a petrol station close to my house. He got dropped off and he got into my car. And I had said um, that I didn't want to do this anymore, that um, the way he had treated me was really unfair. He then asked if I could take him to a friend's house in Rosebank. And I said, sure. And in the car, he had gotten extremely angry, resentful, and violent toward me. And in his rage of anger, he punched me to the point where my whole left side was blue. He had tried to strangle me while I was driving. And I remember thinking that the only way to get him out of the car is to get him to the place we were going. A part of me wishes that it would be so easy to approach our justice system about this about abuse, about domestic violence. I find our justice system to be callous and unprepared for the emotion behind gender-based violence, the realness that comes with it. Emotional abuse is just as bad. The emotional part of it was what made me, for so many months, think about myself and who I am. Think about how to be me again, because it's not just a case. It's your whole entire life.